think you are? Awaka the 23rd. Merchant extraordinaire. Uh, no, 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 no. Silly Martini. Gamer extraordinaire. Hello, everyone. And welcome back to... The Sick. Chocobo Tunes. No, I mean... <laughs> welcome back to another episode of Final Fantasy X. And we are at the north end of the Meehan High Road. And we were about to try and go through this gate. I believe your chocobo's here. Come on, everyone off. And we can't steal the chocobo, which is a damn shame. But let's see what this is all about. Gotta and loser reporting, sir. This is the last of them. Good to have you with us. Go on through. Show me how to play Blitz sometime. Wait around. We'll have Sin beaten in no time. So, uh, yeah, last episode, volumes were a bit Any high. Any donation toward Operation Me? Yeah, I don't know. Thank you for your generosity. So yeah, you want to buy the expensive one because the moon ring is uh, pretty Anything. nice. And uh, so last episode was very loud because my uh, my new setup kind of was going on a little trippy trip on its own. And yeah, I'm kind. I, I, well, not kind of sorry. I'm I'm really sorry if I made some people's ears ache and break a... I forgot what the other one was. And, and break a people's ears and whatever. Uh, apparently there was a little cable loose. And yeah, I, uh, I changed that up now so it should be better. Also, I should have done this uh, off screen. Of camera at least oh well oh well uh yeah we have to go to the north because this guy hey you're a summoner and our guardians right sorry for the inconvenience you won't let us pass thank you for your cooperation so we should go back and then there should be a cutscene yes Oh, looky, looky. It's our favorite guy. It's Mr. Suyu Seymour. Silas. It's the music alone. So, we meet again, Lady Yuna. I yes? You look troubled. Is there anything I can do? Well... I see. Maester Seymour, let me show you to the command center. Hold, I have a request. Yes, Your Grace. I need to have Summoner Yuna and her guardians let through to the command center. But, but, Mr. Seymour, Mr. Seymour, sir. Do not worry. I will take full responsibility. Very well, they may pass. It is done. Thank you, Your Grace. Hmm. 
Yuna, it's time to go. Oh, right. Who does he think he is? He's a maester. Better get used to it, yeah? <laughs> yep. And uh, does anyone else have that, like, the way that Seymour, his hair goes onto his face? Kind of like makes it look like he has the, like his hair are actually roots going inside of his head. Like he's some kind of weird plant thing, I don't know. All hail, Maester Seymour. And more ominous music. Because, why wouldn't you? Brave crusaders of Spira. Protectors of all, Spira. Believe in the path you have chosen. Let faith be your strength. I, Seymour Guado, Maester of Yevon, will bear witness to your deeds today. Sir! What's going on? Why is Maester Seymour back in the Crusaders, eh? They're using Albed's machina. They're violating the teachings. Even going against the teachings, they're willing to risk it for the greater good. Waka, I think Maester Seymour sees that too. <laughs> Lulu! Hmm. I can only speculate. Ask him yourself. Ah, Sir Oran, it is an honor. I would be most interested in hearing what you've been doing these past ten years. I've got nothing to say about it. I see. <laughs> Sir Oran must be a great asset as a guardian. Your Grace! Please, there's no need for formalities. Excuse me, Maester Seymour, why is your lordship presently <laughs> present here, sir? Please, speak as you normally would. Uh, isn't this operation against the teachings of Yevon? Aren't you gonna stop them? It's true. I should. Mm -hmm. However... Both the Crusaders and the Albed truly wish peace for Spira. This Operation Mihen was born from that wish they share. Although it may be sacrilege to Yevon, their intentions are pure. And I, Seymour Guado, the person, not the Maester of Yevon, as a denizen of Spira, I wish them well in their endeavor. But. Using Machina, that's bad, isn't it? Pretend you didn't see them. <laughs> <laughs> Beg your pardon, but that's not something a maester should say. Then pretend I didn't say it. You're kidding. From the first time I laid eyes on him, I never did like Seymour. But you know, some of the things he said that day, they made a lot of sense to me. Timor isn't gonna be a good guy. Yes, the loot. Give me the fat loot. And more. Yeah. Excuse me, Lady Summoner Yuna? Yes. The command center. Maester Seymour requests your presence there, ma'am. Thank you. 
Take that road to the command center. It's not far. We're still in the midst of preparations this way. Sorry. Oh, new enemies. So, I think I think these are also the enemies that you can encounter on the lower part of the Meehan High Road. And we're going to kill them really quickly. Because we should. Yeah. Uh, Oran for the break. Water on the tunnel plan, and that's done. So, uh, yeah, this is quite the track. What's going on Good here? Time, <laughs> Sneak past the guards, I did. Oh, waka. Yeah, he sells uh, not all that great stuff, in my opinion. We make a fortune with Operation Meehan prices, but you, lad, you get a discount. I owe you one, eh? Welcome to Oakus. So we get a discount. Let's see. Yeah, I don't, I don't think this is really a discount. <laughs> His prices actually went up by 10%. No, uh, 20%. 20%. Because uh, normally a potion costs uh, 50 uh, gil and the Phoenix on 100. I think. I thought they were that expensive. <laughs> so, sell prices are. Uh, quarter of what they should be and the potion sells for 25 so yeah they should be a hundred each so okay I got that if a hundred no 50 let me know in the comments because apparently I cannot remember at all because I'm I'm just like yeah my my brain is going dead it's been a long day. Just, just don't, don't, don't make fun of me. Well, you can. I don't mind. And here we have one of the enemies that are pretty amazing if you have steel. So you, uh, these ones, uh, you could steal smoke bombs from. I actually can't remember if we have steel, so uh, I don't know, let's see if I can uh, nail this one. Oh, nice. Yeah, it's still the input lag, I don't know what to do with it, I don't know how to fix it, I don't know... I don't know much, apparently. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I, I mean... It's uh, it's it's uh, it's tough. Bring it on. We can use some dark attack on it, so he misses all his attacks. I actually can't remember how much HP I have. I would say four thousand. I feel that's also a bit, a bit of blood. Uh, yes, it's four thousand. I am smart. This macht I am. So yeah, Kimari does the uh, heal. So that probably means I don't have the level 1 key sphere that uh, we kind of need for that. Oops. So let's get Rakuk in his overdrive back because we used that in the last episode to, uh, yeah, to a great advantage. If you haven't seen that, it was amazing. That chocobo eater, he, uh, yeah, I guess he uh, liked his uh, chocobos roasted. 
<laughs> ah, nice. Attacky tackies. He still misses. Lo 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 lo. Boom. It's okay. If it's not a crit, nice. And now I'm going to dismiss him. So he's ready for our next big battle. Because I, that's just something I kind of like to do. It's always uh, nice to have a. Uh, to have an Aeon with overdrive in the background and of course we're going to kill it with Titus so he gets the overdrive boost and if there's no more new enemies I'm just gonna cut all these battles out because there are going to be a lot of them and this route is well it's not that long but it's pretty annoying what that does is it summons an Aeon with a full overdrive bar. And if that Aeon already had a full overdrive bar, yeah, you guessed it, you can actually have two bars on top of each other. So if you have haste or you outspeed an, uh, an, an enemy you guys are toast. very fast, very much, very you outspeed it by a lot I think that's that's better <laughs> uh, then <laughs> yeah English you actually uh, could use two overdrives in a row and then the downtime could actually net you a third one if you are able able to survive uh, the next attacks and stuff so uh, yeah, if you use tactically, you could really, really kill uh, bosses or whatever with ease just by doing that. As you wish. But like, if I would have done that on the Chocobo Eater, I probably would have been able to... Wait, Oran didn't kill that one. <laughs> with one shot. Okay. So I need to do uh, some sphere trading. So uh, yeah, if I would have done that on the uh, on the Chocobo Eater, I could actually used could have used uh, Rakuken to uh, to pretty much one shot the, the Chocobo Eater, given that he was weakened a little bit, because I think the two. Uh, two overdrives would have, wouldn't have been enough to uh, get him down from full health so yeah there's that and I know I said I wouldn't do this on camera but sure I am doing it on camera <laughs> I actually just want to get Orin to the first strength node which oh hard ah. There's none nearby. Oh my god. So I hope I found some st strength plus fives or something. What do I have? No, I don't have another level one key. We we might just have to go and do some blitz ball until we get some uh, level one key spheres. <laughs> so yeah, that's the cheesy way of getting uh, level one key spheres. You should be able to get them in the in Blitzball, in tournaments and stuff like that. So what I might do is I might go off camera and uh, look up some stuff about the tournaments. What's yeah, if there if there's like certain loot what tables for them? Say? I'm not sure. I'm not sure at all. But uh, yeah, you can only try and look for them, and uh, maybe they will pop up. And I would cut these battles away, but I don't. 
because ah, I should have used a fire robot, but it would have uh, but it would have been. I actually need to use the ability extract ability who has it who has it is it Waka? It's Waka. Oh my god. Waka instead of Oren. Maybe instead of Lulu. Because she's the fastest. Yeah, when I played this game when I was younger, I always used like Titus, Yuna, and Oren, and I didn't level anyone else. <laughs> and it gave me some trouble uh, after a while. But uh, if you use Titus, Waka, and Yuna as your front people, they are the three fastest for now. And. Uh, yeah, it should be uh, should be all right. So that is a funguar. If you attack it, it's, yeah, you can see it on top. If if you uh, attack it straight on, it would it would counter with pollen and put everyone to sleep, which is a very annoying. So we're just going to try and one shot it. And oh my god, I did it again. And we go, which is a very very nice. I actually can't remember if you can use skills for silence. I would say that you can. Because why not? Extractability. That's not going to do a lot of damage. Ah, more than I thought it would, but uh yeah. Wincy wincy damage. I should equip the Blizzard Sword on Titus. I should pay more attention to the game and not the stuff going in around the game. Lo 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 So Lulu, Blizzard it to death, and we should have an ability sphere. And I'm just gonna try and uh, and farm them a little bit uh, off camera in the random battles that are going on here. Yeah, this is actually not as bad as in Final Fantasy X2 because in X2, ah, oh, no enemy. In X2, this area actually becomes a gauntlet. And it's such an annoying gauntlet at that. Because, I don't know, maybe in the Ten 2 HD Remaster Remakes, maybe they changed it so that, uh, so that it doesn't really... Yeah, there's like this fog. And when the fog comes up, the mobs attack if you move so you actually have to wait until the fog goes up and it's gone again and then move when there's no fog and when the fog starts again you have to stop but the the, the little the most little bit of fog that appears was actually already enough to you know, to like uh, to trigger an, uh, a battle which was annoying because you had to like do three or four steps and then just wait then a little bit of steps again and then wait again it's like oh my god that was so broken instead of that you like have this kind of window you could still move in it just felt like there was no no window of opportunity to like grab this little extra step or something like that i don't know Titus in the middle. Yes. Titus in the middle. Heal us. Yeah, I don't care See about you your story. People can side read. Side. Yes. You're Maybe annoying. I'm Is there anything I can Depressing. Please heal us. 
So the last mob that uh, that was new, that was a uh, Gandareva. And that's yeah, it's it's Final Fantasy Ten's version of an imp. And it's a flying enemy that uses thunder magic. And I just remembered I have to equip the ice brand. Because the little gecko ones are weak to ice. So, oh, sneaky chest here. Actually, the first one, the first time I got that chest, it, it that was like accidentally. <laughs> I got stuck behind it, and I pressed X, and uh, yeah, I, I I got some free items, and I didn't even know it. But yeah, back then TVs were worse off than they are now. Even though this game is pretty dated and you can see like the there's this yeah not so clearly ness I don't know how to call it it's a uh, yeah it's a lot more clear than I can remember it used to be a lot more dark on the uh, on my old TV as far as I can remember at least there should be a chest here. Also, the controls on this part are so annoying. If the camera changes, sometimes the movement doesn't change with it. And yeah, I, I don't know. I, I find it annoying and not fun. But uh, yeah, it's something. <laughs> Anyway, I'm gonna cut ahead. So, that was a pretty long battle and I also did some sphere gridding. Uh, not this part. I'm actually confusing this part with the area I'm kind of wanna, wanting to go to now because there's an Albet primer around here somewhere. But I cannot completely remember where it is. Oh. Yeah. So oh, the Albert Primer I, that I never could have could remember where it was. Hey, so look, it's Luzu. Hello, Luzu. I'm not going to talk to you because I don't care. Well, I do care, but not about you. <laughs> There's actually some uh, some dialogue. That if you talk to those people, you know, I'm just gonna run away because that's weaker. <laughs> uh, there, there's actually some uh, stuff that you could change, and the dialogues with uh, Luzu and Gata. You can actually trigger one of the upcoming events if it happens to Luzu or if it happens to Gata. So that if you go to Jose Temple, there's like the one or the other that's uh, sitting there which at first I didn't know because I I, I, I just I talked to everyone I wanted to see all the cutscenes and now I'm not doing that <laughs> because I feel I'm I'm not getting along in the story enough so uh, yeah I mean I, it's just me being silly, me being crazy in in a sense because I should like put the story up front but on the other hand I just don't want this to be a series that's taking five years to uh, to finish so I can't remember if there's a chest here or if, or if that's in Final Fantasy X 2 oh it's not a chest we just get the mega potion from this girl check yeah I'm not going to go and talk to you guys because I'm going to end this episode now this should be about half an hour if I edited everything so uh, thank you for watching if you enjoyed please click click that like button 
if you've really enjoyed this episode you want to see more you want to be notified because when the, the <laughs> oh, I can't talk anymore if you want to get notified about new videos coming out click the subscribe button just like throw a hammer at that bell and I will see you all in the next episode and there's gonna be some some weird stuff going on some, some genocide and stuff so stay tuned and as always if you have any ideas leave them in the comments down below bye bye